Not all animals stay healthy enough to withstand the load of ticks they carry. This sick young giraffe has so many that they've reduced his resistance even further. Here is the culprit. This tick doesn't wait around for a host, but actively hunts one down, using its front legs like antennae. It can detect the breath of the sick giraffe. Delicate sensors on each tip give the tick the direction of its prey. When the tick has figured which way to go, it takes off with a surprising turn of speed. The giraffe spends more and more time resting on the ground and becomes an easy target for even more ticks. Once on his body, they release a chemical signal which attracts others to the site. Eventually, the giraffe dies, and within an hour, the first blowflies have arrived at the scene. Most ticks leave now, except for those whose mouth parts are too embedded in their host. These become the targets of ants. As more and more blowflies arrive to lay their eggs, they set the stage for one of the most remarkable phenomena in nature. In the four days since the blowflies laid their eggs, the giraffe has been transformed into a wriggling mass of larva. Now the first wave to reach maturity is dropping onto the sand, ready to burrow and pupate. As hard as it is to watch, this is nature's way of cleaning up. In just one week, the giraffe has been reduced to dry skin and bones. And now a new generation of flies is ready to emerge from the ground. By rhythmically inflating a sac inside its head and swelling it to almost twice normal size, the fly is able to force its way through the sand. This one has dragged its pupil case up with it and takes a while to get rid of it. The fly's stubby wings soon begin to expand as blood and air are pumped into their fine veins. Within an hour, they're inflated to their full size. Soon, the fly will join the thousands of other flies that wait while their wings harden before setting out to join the cycle again. Some don't get very far. Many end up in the webs of the countless spiders of the African bush. This female has had her fill, so she ties this one up for later. <laughs> 